The valley has been hit hard by opioids and other drugs. Now this hurts not just the people that are taking those drugs, but also their families. But one organization is trying to restore families and rebuild communities. And one way to prevent that problem today, they're trying a way to fix just that by giving away free food. 27 First News reporter Noah Daniels Wilder joins us live in Youngstown with more details. Noah, good morning. Yes, good morning again, Dan, and good morning to everybody in the Valley. We are here at the Cavelli Center where I have organizer Lester Scott here with me again. Lester, tell me a little bit about how you all got this all started. Well, basically what we do, we do a monthly food distribution where we uh, pass out, you know, food to the people in need and the uh, we are uh, actually uh, the Spanish Evangelical Church on the east side serve and now in Youngstown they do an annual event uh, where they usually pass out like book bags and uh, back to school supplies for the kids. But we have a lot of people stepping up and doing that. So what they said is they didn't want to overlap, you know, the efforts and do something redundant. So they seen, you know, the situation we had already going and said, you know, maybe we could center around a family and uh, link up with us and expand it and make it a bigger effort as far as the food distribution, you know, things for the kids and of, of that sort. So basically what we did is, you know, we're not, we're putting egos to the side and, and showing that coming together and pulling resources and uh, making a concerted effort, you know, in one direction with multiple partners, it, you're able to do a lot more than just depending on one organization. Got you. And for your organization, you all have done this before. You fed, uh, I think you told me, 500 families before, yeah. right? And yeah. now feeding 1,500 families. Mm. How, you know, this partnering, how does this help your organization and theirs as well? Well, I mean, really, when you're doing something on this scale, the biggest thing is having the volunteers and the people that's, you know, the actual bodies that's going to help you pull off an event like this. You know, we could we we'll probably run ourselves ragged trying to, you know, do an event of this scale just on our own. So when you link up with multiple people and, uh, you know, get so many different people from so many different organizations, it goes a long way. It makes it easier on everybody. This That's kind of our philosophy. If everybody pitches in with a little, we can do a lot. And it's not a big strain on one person. So that's the uh, the model that we stick to. And seeing this opportunity to link up with now Youngstown Serve and the Spanish Evangelical Church, uh, it was a, you know opportunity we'd be crazy to pass up on. Gotcha. Appreciate it. Thank you, Lester. Again, the event is today at from 11 to 2 p.m. It is right outside of the Cavelli Center and in Youngstown. Noah Daniels Wilder, WKBN 27 First News.